Hi, this is George Alger with the Two Green Energy Video Report, speaking with the author of Renewable Energy, Facts and Fantasies by Craig Shields, and this is a number one best-selling energy book on Amazon. Hello, Craig. Hello, George. All right, so today we're going to talk about electric bicycles. Right. And uh, more particularly, a specific opportunity in, in bicycle, electric bicycle investments. Right. But you have a non-disclosure agreement on this, so there's only so much you can say. Well, th I can talk about the design of this thing till the cows come home, because I've, I've come across this guy in Northern California who's been at this ever since the early, the, I mean, the mid to late 90s. Um, he was part of the early... Uh, you're probably aware of the movement in California, the zero emission vehicle mandate in the late 90s. Uh, he was working with Lee Iacocca, who, won, who eventually retired and certainly didn't go into electric bikes, but he wanted to do this in a big way. So he's been at the process of optimizing this design, you know, 24-7 to exaggerate, but he's, he hasn't taken a break at this thing from the standpoint of his career uh, in whatever it's been, 12 or you know, 13 years. So a lot's gone into this. All right. And electric bicycles seems like a, um, I don't know, a very relatively simple idea, but, you know, perhaps it's not. I mean, ha haven't there been electric, uh, electric bicycles for decades? I suppose. And more to the point, they're all over the place now, and especially in, in Asia. You can imagine how many you have in, you know, the city of Bangkok alone. Um, but certainly all over, uh, th this is a phenomenon that's going to be, that's big now and it's going to get huge, which I think makes this issue even more important. And you're right, um, how difficult can it be? Uh, and that's the first thing that I thought, it's funny you mentioned this, um, when I came across this guy and w walked through his factory and talked to his people and he talked about this, the specific design, um, I was thinking to myself, well, how you know, how difficult can this be? But having said that, it's kind of like the, the metaphor of how does it, how is it, you know, you, to shoot a television show, you have a couple cameras and some lights and some sound equipment, how hard is it? Well, there are a million ways to do it wrong, as I'm sure you've learned over the years that you've been at this. Um, and just like in, think of what a, an electric bicycle really is. Um, when you think that it can be dork, dorky looking, right? It can be horribly unattractive. Uh, it can be hard to repair, it can be flimsy, it can be slow, it can be um, expensive, it can be heavy. You've got, you've got batteries on there, they weigh something. Yes, they do. So this is, the, tr the calculus on all of this thing, the trade-offs of one of these things on another is extremely important and, and has unbelievable dramatic implications on the way this is going to turn out from the standpoint of just rideability, usability in the real world. You don't want mechanical reliability, aesthetic issues. You don't want it to easily dismantled and um, taken apart by thieves, something I wouldn't have thought of. Um, but um, the design on this thing, when you look at it, you go, that's amazing. There's no, all of the expensive componentry is impossible to get to, a a unless you know what you're doing and you're a mechanic and you need to get to it. So the whole thing is amazing. I, the way I look at this thing is, what's amazing about this thing is nothing's wrong. And it would be so easy to have something wrong. Wow. All right, so what kind of investment capital is required to take this to the next level? They need about $5 million to go into big time manufacturing. You could look at the website on this thing, and when people call in, I'll show them the website, and we can talk about it a little bit. And you can say, well, that's a little on the expensive side. And it is right now. The truth is that it'll come way down in price as this thing scales. So I think this is the winner in terms of electric bicycles. And you know, you know, I have a lot of friends at you know, evworld.com who spend an, their whole lives reviewing these things. There are reports that you can buy that where there are hundreds of these things reviewed from all over the world. So I am connected with people who know a lot more about this than I, and I'm convinced this is the real deal here. Great. So how do folks get in touch with you? They should simply hit the contact button on the website, and I'll get right back to them. Very good. Yeah.